You wanted everything. You wanted everything. You want it all. You want everything. You greedy fox. When are you going to start giving? What up, peeps? It's a boy, the prodigal son, Mr. J. The savior of Miss Motherfucking Behavior. You stupid sons of bitches. There are no strings on me. What up, peeps? For the last couple of days, I've had a fever that's been kicking my ass. And I woke up this morning feeling a little better. Still having a runny nose, and I'm sore, but the fever's gone. So I decided instead of sitting in the house like I've been for the last day and a half, I'd go out. I went to my job, had a couple of drinks, had some food, right? And the reason for this video is while I was there, at my job, there's six managers, right? Six managers. Four of them are female. The other two are male. Mind you, one of those male is actually the head chef. The head chef. So I personally am not going to call him a manager. Because he has to listen to others. What do I know? With that being said, at my job, one of those female managers was talking to somebody. Right? And she comes out of left field stating how one of the issues in this world is this male dominance. The world is dominated by male. Males, right? That men are blinded with their need for power. And they can't see this. When I heard this, I had to stop this whole entire conversation. I told her, I was like, you bugging. You're coming from a place of bias and you can't even see it. You bugging. She goes, no, you don't know what, the, you mind your business. You don't even know what the fuck you were talking about. I was like, excuse me? First of all, you just finished stating that the world is dominated by males. If you don't see nothing wrong with that, I'll do my best to wrap your puny little brain around what's wrong with it. What you just finished doing was looking at the 1% and comparing it to society. You looked at the 1% that control everything and compared it to society. That's fucked up. See, you women, you women, are conf you confuse men's desire for achievement with men's desire for power. That's not our fault. That's your fault for not seeing things the way it's supposed to. And then you want to sit here and claim, you dare say that the world is dominated by men, this dominance of men? First of all, first of all, again, I'm going to destroy this illusion of yours. There's no way how that's possible in a world where there's more women on the planet than there is men. If I'm correct, for every five to six women, there is one man. And then you have the audacity to sit here and say that there's this male dominance issue? No, no. First of all, have you ever thought maybe, just maybe, just maybe, your, your hunger for power is what blinds you. You're a manager, and you've been conforming your entire life, and you can't see things for what it is. She goes, what do you mean? You're being really that stupid. I was okay. Perfect example. Perfect example. Women, right? Every human being that's ever been on this planet has come out of a woman. Every human being on this planet has come out of a woman. A woman has given birth to every single human being on this planet. If that's not enough power, I don't know what is. Honestly, I don't know what is. And then in the house, a family unit in the house, yes, the man, the man is the uh, man of the house. The male is the man in the house, but it's the female who controls everything. And then you want to claim that there's this male dominance? And then at the same time, like I said, like I said, it was a woman that gave birth to every single human being on this planet. And then at the same time, you want to be fucking president. And then you don't see nothing wrong with what you're doing. You greedy little shit. You greedy little fuck. You wanted everything. You want it all. You want it all. God damn. And then you want to be quick to blame others for their shit. Again, like I said, the funny thing about us as human beings, we all want change. But the last thing you ever want to hear is, it's your fault. So let me get this straight. You started conforming. Now that you're miserable, you're wondering why. You want to blame the world. No, no. Like I've said, conformity is the death of growth. The moment you start conforming, you didn't change who you are. The moment you start conforming, you didn't sacrifice the earth's future. The moment you start conforming, you didn't put your life in somebody else's hands. And if it doesn't work out, it's their fault. No, 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 no. See, I'm not a monster. 
I'm just ahead of the curve. Be bold, be phenomenal, and dent this motherfucking universe. Are you watching closely? <laughs>